Hey everybody, in a uh, previous video I was asked a question on um, how to put a food product and they gave the example of a donut or a burger on the face which is fairly simple however it's not it's not so straightforward because there's there's some options that you have now uh, one of those options being what do you want to have the product as do you want a 2d flat image or a 3d model that wraps around your head and I'm gonna show you how to do both so uh, we're gonna start off with 2d so uh, first first and foremost we got to add in uh, our assets so I'm gonna go down to the bottom of the resources I'm gonna import files and I'm going to find my cheeseburger with a transparent background and it's right here so now the only thing we have to do is we go up to objects on the top left click add new and I go to face effects and click head binding now with head binding it's going to put a head here obviously and we're gonna bind the burger to the face and the head so I'm going to right click and I'm sorry I'm not gonna right -click. I'm gonna select it and make sure it's blue and I'm gonna click add new and then I'm gonna to go to general and click image object and it's going to make that image object a child of the head binding so here it is on the right side it says texture and I'm just gonna click on that and going to add the cheeseburger we added earlier and there it is and you're gonna notice that it doesn't look right and that's because we have to make some adjustments so first and foremost, what I'm going to do is on the left side, I'm going to select the face occluder. And that's what it basically looks like. So we're just going to go to the top to the move tool with the face occluder selected and we're just going to pull it back. Now it looks like it's supposed to where the face is behind the burger. So the burger is a little too small for my taste. So I'm just going to just make some adjustments and there it is so that's the 2d burger covering the face now you're gonna be like well that's not entirely what I want I want facial features which is fine it's very simple so we're gonna go up here to head binding again and we're going to go to the top and select add new and we're going to face effects and click face insert and it's going to put your mouth right there and I'm just gonna make it bigger now there's a big feather around this face insert I like to lower the feather just to make it a little more realistic you can even make it as big as you want now you're gonna be like well I want the eyes as well how do I do the eyes so that's very simple all you do is you go to your face insert on the left you're gonna right click and duplicate and it's gonna give you a second mouth and right here under face region on the right side I'm gonna select left eye and there it is and to get the right eye you do the exact same thing you right click duplicate duplicate and there you have it and it's still the left eye so you're gonna change it to the right eye and you're done that's it so that's how you do the 2d uh, product over the face so I want one that wraps around my head because if you if you look straight forward with this, it looks it looks normal. But if you were to move your face, you could tell that it's a flat picture and it doesn't wrap around your face. Uh, we want one that wraps around the head, so that's going to be a 3D model. So let's do that. So I'm going to start a new project. I'm not going to save that. Now this would require you purchasing or acquiring. A, a model of a hamburger on your own uh, so first and foremost what I would do uh, would be where I would right click and I'm going to import my model so I'm gonna track it down on my computer now I've worked with this model before and every single time I load it into Lens Studio it comes in with no no material so I might have to manually add those in there's my burger up oh, and just like I said it came into lens studio without material so give me a moment let me add some materials 
So I'm going to add new on the bottom of the resources. I'm going to do an unlit. And on the right, I'm just going to choose the texture, which I'm going to add new, import files. And I think it's this one. So I'll go to my burger. Unlit. There we go. So yeah, there it is. Um, cool. So now what we want to do is we want to connect it to the head and make it a part of the face. So just like the 2D variant, we're going to, on this one, we're going to grab the model of the burger on the left hand side and we're going to attach it. So in order to do that, we're going to have to put in a new head binding. So we're going to go to add new face effects, head binding. Now there's your head. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the 3D model and I'm going to drag it onto the head binding. So now the burger is attached to the face. Wherever the face goes, the burger goes as well. So it doesn't look right in, in my opinion. So I'm just going to make some adjustments. Don't mind me. Now this this model is a little weird because it has that that bit that portion of it that's been bit off. Um, but you know it's it's more personal preference, like what however you want. You know with this particular model, I like to make the burger real big to cover as much as the face as possible. Um, that's just personal opinion, personal preference. Uh, yeah, I'm almost done. So pretty much, there it is. And the way we get the facial inserts like we did last time, it's the exact same process. Just let me finish these adjustments. So we're going to have the head binding selected on the left and we're just gonna add new face insert. And there it is. I just make some adjustments. I'm gonna duplicate that and then put the eyes. Left eye. Now these can be as large as you want. You know, you can do whatever you want. You can go crazy. Duplicate and then make the right eye. And then you're done. Uh, and that's that's if you want it to look like this. That's if this is the look you're going for. You're you're done. <laughs> you know. And if this was for a client, you could take it a step further and go add new. Let's go screen image. And then you could put like a logo of the burger place, and then have the logo down here, down below. So it'd be the the, the company's logo and then the burger face up top, but it's whatever. Anyway, I hope this helped you out. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, just thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.